How's it going guys? It's Living in Bad Faith and I'm playing the home front again. And you can see I got my ACR here, uh, with the uh with one of the red dot sights. And this new camo that I unlocked uh just recently. I'm not entirely sure what it's actually called, I can't remember the name, but uh it kinda looks like there's ash or charcoal all over the gun. And I think that's really cool. So I'm sticking with that for the time being. And I'm playing a team deathmatch game on Wow, that was a messy two kills. Uh, I'm playing a team deathmatch game on Cul-de-Sac, which is the smallest map. I don't know why it took me so long to shoot that guy. I saw him before and I turned away and then I just... I don't know what happened and I turned back and I shot him. And I always blew myself up with this grenade. But, uh, yeah. So it was team deathmatch, Cul-de-Sac, using the ACR, red dot sight. And I'm now at two star threat level, which is nice. Uh, I play, uh... In terms of my uh, overall performance, uh, gaming-wise, on this map, I play pretty well. I I kind of peak early uh, in this game type, in this uh, particular game. Towards the end, I pretty much just die a lot. But you'll see some pretty decent kills. I camp that guy. I, uh, I'm not proud of that, but I, it happened. And uh, so I'm one star, uh, one kill from uh, three stars. And uh, yeah, I usually don't use the ACR with the, with um, yeah, I got shot there. I don't use the ACR with the red dot sight, uh, because uh, the iron sights are are really good uh, in comparison to other guns. Uh, the red, the iron sights for the ACR, it's a lot better than the uh, the M16 and the M4 uh, iron sights. It's probably the best uh, of the iron sights in this game with the ACR. So I usually use the silencer, or I'll I'll use the ACR for long range and have the ACOG scope with it. So as just yeah, in uh in most of my other gameplays, I've used the ACOG scope, and just uh, recently I've started using the silencer with the ACR. Just I've got some pretty good kill streaks with that one. Uh, I, I I played like a whole string of games and recorded them all, and I think uh I think I'm uploading this one. It's not the best one of the set that I have, but it just happens to be the shortest. That's why I prefer to play team deathmatch games and then record them and talk about them because uh, ground control matches go for a really long time, uh, especially if you go to the three rounds. If you play two rounds, then it's perfectly fine. But the three rounds on the uh, the ground control matches, where you win one, then you lose one, and then you play again for the third round, they take forever, and it's really annoying to commentate through all those. Uh, so you see here, yeah, we bought myself a white phosphorus. Uh, again, that's probably the best of the uh, the airstrikes, and I just got another another threat level from that. And uh, yeah, I think I have I got to five star at one point during this gameplay. Uh, it's clearly not this kill streak. <laughs> Maybe it's the next one. Uh, and that's uh, that right there is why I hate prone. Uh, prone in in long range maps in long range games like uh like battlefield and home front it, it just makes like camping really easy and kind of bush noobs can just like camp and camp in a little tree and just kind of shoot everyone uh, so that's why I really don't like prone in in the long range maps but in games like Call of Duty yes it really annoyed me in Modern Warfare 2 uh, mostly because you can just sort of like drop into prone whilst aiming down the site and just shoot everyone. Uh, continue shooting whilst going prone, which makes so, no sense because what are you, what <laughs> are your two hands either, either holding the gun or are they allowing you to f control your descent to the ground? You can't, <laughs> unless you have four arms, then you can't aim down the sight as well as get on the ground. It just, that doesn't make sense. Uh, but it gets to the video game, so it's not really a, a strong imitation of real life. So I think this is my decent kill streak, and. Uh, so I'm uh, one kill from... Yeah, this is definitely it. I kind of make a little nest in this place, and I get a lot of knifing kills. There's two there. So I kind of hang around at the top of this building, which is uh, which is B, I think, in in the ground control matches. So I'm one star... F uh, one kill from four star. Couple more knifing kills. I'm always at five star right now. There's another guy running up. They keep just running into my knife. I don't... There's, there's another one. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. 
So yeah, I pretty much make this like my little camping nest. Not ca uh, yeah. I don't like calling myself a camper, but I pretty much did it here. I sort of just shot out the window and get the enemy as they're running out from their spawns towards the battle. And uh, I came in on the ledge, which was kind of stupid. Uh, I didn't do anything on the ledge. I ran back in here and I think I knifed someone else. Oh, shot someone. So there I am, five stars. And I think I'll, yep, I'll use my white phosphorus and... I got lucky here. That was a... I missed that knife and oh, that almost cost me. And, uh, yeah, I didn't think I last much longer. In fact, I think I might die right here. Wait, no. The next time I go in on that ledge, I get shot. Yep, I get hit by an airstrike. So yeah, that was my best kill streak for uh, for this map. I'm 31 for 3 at the moment, which is probably the best I'll... Uh, I think from here on out, it kind of gets a lot worse. I, I don't get any kill streaks like that. I get like maybe I think one more, uh, one or two more uh, threat levels during my, the last couple lives, but uh, nothing like what I just had. I really like white phosphorus. Uh, it's kind of a toss up in between white phosphorus and uh, the Hellfire missiles. Yeah, that kind of sucked. Uh, I don't like using the cluster bomb because it's, yeah, it, it's really expensive. It's two thousand battle points for one airstrike, and you can rarely find multiple people and vehicles like crowded in the same area. So it always just seems pointless when you could just, yeah, no, it's hard to get multi kills with it. And if you're just going to aim for people with the cluster bomb then you might as well just be using the white phosphorus because it's just as effective and it's about 700 battle points cheaper and the hellfire missiles is always a good option but uh, yeah I always prefer the white phosphorus and uh, I think I get hit by a lot of airstrikes during the rest of this game but that's probably one of the reasons why I, uh, I get so many deaths I think I just run into a lot of airstrikes I spawn behind that guy I'm not use in our spawns. Uh, I'm not sure what he was doing there. I'm not entirely sure why I didn't kill that guy. My bullets just went straight through him. That was kind of weird. That's a fail. That is the biggest fail of the match. I'm not entirely sure why I knifed so early. I was pretty sure I was going to kill him but I swung and I just hit nothing but air and uh... yeah and you see uh, when I spawned up just then there was a a white phosphorus had like just hit this area just hit the area before I spawned up so if I had died like a couple seconds earlier I would have been hit by that again and uh... there's another airstrike killed me I probably should uh... <laughs> go, through, go through this video and just count up how many airstrikes I got hit by uh, I suppose it makes sense I uh... I suppose it's all uh... He was itself out. I killed a lot of people with airstrikes during this match, so. So, yeah. And you'll see I've actually, uh, right at the beginning of this match, I ac accidentally purchased the, uh, the RPG. I have three RPG rockets just sitting there with, uh, with no use for them because there's no vehicles on this map. And, uh, it's kind of pointless to try killing people with the, uh, the RPG since you can just shoot them easier uh, than bothering to pull out the RPG. I see this camper here. But even though I shot him in the head, I only get an assist. Uh, I don't know why that happened either. We are about to win, and uh, yeah, so you see the uh, uh, the end of this, towards the end of this gameplay, pretty much just hemorrhage lives. Uh, it would have been a really good, uh, I would have had like a really kick-ass score with them, with only a couple deaths and a lot of kills. But uh, unfortunately, towards the second half of the game, I kind of ruined it. But yeah, I still figure there's another airstrike. God damn it. Uh, so, it's still a pretty good gameplay. Uh, like I said, the main reason why I'm uploading it is just because it's among the shortest I have. And, yeah. So it's easy to talk about. I'm 39 for 9. And uh, I'm pretty sure yeah, I'll wind up with one more kill somewhere. And a death. There's the death. Stew Dog. He's been camping there for, for four. 
I was kind of annoying to die like that. Alright, so this is this game is kind of coming to a close. Ten more kills and then we win it. There's another airstrike by the same guy who airstriked me before. <laughs> That's horrible. That is horrible. And uh, yeah, I'll have more videos coming recent. Uh, uh, more videos coming out uh, in the not too distant future. I just I, I kind of want to like shorten how long these games go for because I have a really good gameplay, but it's about 20 minutes long, which is insane. I tried to commentate on it just before, but I just couldn't talk for that long. Uh, it just came off sounding weird. So you will see a shortened version of that coming up. So we won uh, pretty convincingly. And uh, yeah, 40 for 11 all up. It's almost uh, twice what anyone else got, so that was a good game. Alright, thanks guys. I'll see you later.